Here we've got quince rootstock with the Delizer and it's the start of November 2016 and these are on the 50 centimetre spacing so most of these branches have just grown too big too much shade in there so we want to cut a lot of these back just to four or six buds and, and often at only 30 centimetres maybe 50 centimetres long so there's sort of enough light can get into there and hopefully just thicken those up and producing your fruit sort of in close on here for the 50 centimetres for next year. If there is fruit on there, I'm, I'm leaving, but in this case we haven't got much fruit set, so not much fruit to look out for there. There's a little one there that might bring that down. So we're just getting in, Just I want to chop to a few buds, we'll just promote these in down in here. Keeping these 30 to 50 centimetres and hopefully they should thicken right up in underneath. Doing it this time they've got this little bit of a flush of growth for this year so we haven't done it in winter so they've got this flush of growth out of the way so now if we chop them back into a reasonable length it might just then just promote these push up inside a little bit in closer. That big one there has let all that much more light back in onto that fruit and just opened it right up. Now, of course, I'm just doing the ground. I'll have to come back and follow up with the cherry picker when it's available to finish off up the top here as well. See so in here, we just want these 30. There's an upright one in there I don't want. Let's just open that up a lot more, Let much more light in. Hopefully next year it'll set our fruit more in closer in here on the tree. And in this style at 50 centimetres we can't have too long of branches. We just want it on this two dimensional plane, everything in around the tree. So lots of light can get in. Let's open up those two fruit there that I didn't see until I did that cut. Plus what fruit we do have, next year more sun can get in it, I hope it colour it up. That's about it there, not too much more. I could, I could even make these shorter, I can still see one, two, three, four, five, six buds there. So if I cut that back, I've still got six down there below to come, so I've just gone a little bit long with that. This one I missed before, so I'll come off back all the way back down there. Perhaps. Delay heading is pretty standard, so whatever shape we've tree we've got, we still want to just bring the branches a bit shorter and concentrate the fruit in around where the branch is stronger and where it, can, and it opens it up for more light in. When we finish this prune, we'll, I think we're hitting them with a, um, a, a GA just to slow them down and then just whatever's then that, that should stop all these at this length, which is what we want as well. If we didn't do that, these things would really take off again over the rest of summer, or the rest of spring and summer. Uh, here we are in Quince A at the 50 centimetre spacing, and we're looking at where we did some um, delay heading cuts in November 2016. It's now March 2017, and we're just looking at some of these cuts that were branches were cut back to about around, around the 20 centimetre, 30 centimetre mark, and these are. Um, we were going to spray these to try and get new growth and then just stop it at that point but they actually haven't really grown very much we've used RDI and these have actually responded quite well to that there's very little vegetative new growth and 
the sort of buds have sort of thickened up a little bit down in around closer to the tree. And these have responded quite well and this one was probably cut in half at least. It's about 50 centimetres long now. It's a good length, it's about 30 centimetres there. It's been cut here, probably cut in half. And it's got now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little potential fruiting units down on um, on that short short branch. This one did actually regrow, but it stopped it. It's only grown about 10 centimetres.